Hollywood. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It's the Tom Likas Show. We are tonight's entertainment. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in on the Tom Likas Show. Now, as you know, if you are a regular listener to the Tom Likas Show, everybody on this show, everybody who works behind the scenes, has taken their turn on the barrel. This is uh, kind of a kind of a hazing ritual. Everybody's been in, and uh, by the way, some have been in more than once, right, Dean? Exactly. Because um, the fact is that. Although you think of us as living in some ivory tower somewhere, uh, we're just the guys. And uh, stuff happens to us in our personal lives. Well, nobody's personal life has been dissected more than my own. So why should the others get away scot-free? People come in here, they have to expect when they come here to work that your personal life is fair game. Anything that happens to you, we're going to talk about it. I mean, Super Bowl Sunday's coming up, Dean. It'll be time for us to remind you once again of the time you couldn't come to the Super Bowl. Because your girlfriend needed her furniture moved on Super Bowl Sunday. Who could forget that? Certainly not me. Just uh, every year I hear the word Super Bowl. It's like, slowly I turn, you know. (laughs) When I know the Super Bowl is coming, it's the anniversary. We always have to ask Dean if he has to move any furniture on Super Bowl Sunday. So everybody's life gets dissected, and uh, sure enough, uh, you haven't met him yet, but he's been working with us for some time now. Our intern, Javier, is here in studio, and uh, apparently Javi's had some problems here that uh, uh, he was discussing with us off the air. And of course, uh, once I know that your personal life is in a shambles and that you are miserable, <laughs> it is time to come into the studio and share that with the audience. Come on. You can't sit in there by yourself being upset. you got to share it with the class. So thanks for coming in. Hi, Tom. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. Now, um, you, uh, you of course, you were a listener before you started working here, I'm assuming. Yeah, I was a listener for about a year and a half. My uh, my best friend turned me on to you, and right. uh, within the first hour, I knew uh, I had to had to come in and meet you personally. It's been a dream come true ever since. You came down here. You started working. You started pitching in. Uh, and, of course, you know all the things that I say on the program, pretty much. You have the idea of Like Us 101 and many of the things I've taught on the air as the professor. You, you're aware of yes, all of Yes, I, I believe I've heard of most of it. All right. So uh, I just found out about half an hour ago, I guess probably 10 minutes after you found it out, something happened to you. Uh, what happened? I found out that my girlfriend of two years... Your girlfriend? My my girlfriend, yes. How old are you? I am uh, 20 years old. What are you doing with a girlfriend? Uh, I have no idea. Well, not no longer a girlfriend now, but what I was doing, I had no well, idea. Well, you had a girlfriend an hour ago. Yes, I did. I, yeah, Why? Probably less than that, actually. But you know what I say about that. Yes, did I know. You, did you think you knew more than I did? Uh, I, I did, Tom. I did. You did? I did. You thought that I didn't know what I was talking about? No, I didn't. And you thought that you did? Yes. All right. So uh, here you were. You were uh, sitting in the office uh, working on some important business. And, and what happened? And uh, I got a little curious. You know, me and the missus, uh, we've been having a little rocky phase. So uh, I figured, you know, I got some downtime. I'm going to go through her email really quick. Right. So I went through her email. And uh, I was like, I might as, I'm here. Might as well go all the way. So I went to her Facebook. Wait, and wait I, how did you get her password for her email? She she gave it to me a long time she ago. She gave it to you yeah, back, back gave, when you were in love. She yeah, said, exactly. Oh, yeah, back here, then. you can trust me. Here's my password to my email. Exactly. We told each other we could trust each other with everything, so I gave her mine, and she gave, her, she gave me hers. And she knew that after a while, you never even bothered to check her email because you loved her so much. Right, right. I did check it, but I got lazy. And right. I let go for about eight months. Which everyone does eventually. Right, right. You never found anything. All no. you found was like notes to you saying how wonderful you are in the sent uh, uh, folder. And so there was no need to check anymore. You were pretty secure in your relationship. Yes, or at least I thought. All right, so now you're having rocky times, and so you've got the password to her email. And what did you do? Uh, I went to her Facebook, and uh, Wait, I decided... Does she have the same password on her Facebook? No, what I did is uh, I knew that her Facebook password if you f- said that you did not know the password it would eventually send a link to her email which I r- already had which I was already looking at so I sent I sent the password and I received it and you know boom in less than 30 seconds I had access to her Facebook now what do we tell you on the program about girls who have Facebook or MySpace or Twitter or any of that stuff they should not have it under any circumstances well what do we tell you about those kinds of girls as girlfriend material 
they shouldn't be girlfriend material at all. They're not girlfriend material. Not at all. Because any girl who has 815 friends and 812 of them are guys. Right. That's not a girlfriend. That's 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 a whore. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. That right. Is, right. I mean, now you, are you you're learning the hard I, way? I, I did learn. The I hard told way. you this a long time ago right. on the air. I told you right. this. And uh, how many? By the way, how many friends does she have on Facebook? I don't know. Probably around two hundred. Uh, two hundred friends. I'm, I'm guessing that's how many are guys. Ballpark. I don't know. What percentage? I, wanna, I don't know. I want to say maybe like 35%. I don't know. Only 35%? Maybe a little more, uh, 45 I don't know. I don't want to say 50%. Maybe 35 I know you don't want to say 50%, <laughs> but what if it is 50%? Uh, probably is, actually, but... <laughs> so there's 100 maybe guys. A more. Now, you're a guy. Do you waste your time talking to chicks if you're not going to get into their pants? No. no so what about these 100 guys? you think they're any different from you? No. No. They're just... Friends. Right, just friends. Girl has a right to have friends. Yes. I'm sure she's told you that. Yes, she has. A girl has a right to have friends. Right. Right. Okay. So you got to her Facebook page. What happened? I decided uh, to check her inbox. And when I went into her inbox, I saw uh, numerous letters from a person that I was not very familiar with. So Was he one of her friends? Uh, he was one of her friends. Mm -hmm. and Which is very curious because I've known the girl since I was, you know, since we were in junior high. So we all had the same friends. What do I say about having girlfriends where your girlfriend in junior high? It's not a good idea. Right. But you did it anyway because you thought you knew more than the professor. Yes. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, she's getting emails from some guy you don't know. Right. Okay. One and, of her friends right. on Facebook. Yes. Okay. And it's It says, now it says, um, so do you like my cousin? And then she replies back, yeah, we've been talking. He's a really nice guy. I really like him. And then it goes back and forth, and you kind of get the trend where, you, you know, you just kind of put the put two and two together. And I'm going back from inbox to sent, inbox to sent, inbox to sent. So I have a pretty good idea how the conversation's going. And it's all in writing, so there's no way to deny it. Right. So um, I go in there, and I check. And uh, I go into her, you know, I, I read enough. And, you know, I'm pretty, pretty shocked at this point. And I was like, you know, I don't even know who this guy is. And so... Doing a little more research, I go into her email account and I go into her sent messages. Now she's not a very big emailer; she she very rarely emails. But I decided to go in there and check it out. And in her sent messages is a picture of the guy. And the way I know is because under the under the picture that she sent to her friend, well, there's a picture every time you get an email on Facebook. There's a picture of the person writing to you, right. their, their profile picture. But this one, she was bragging to her friend about. So she was sending the picture to her friend saying this is the guy I was talking about and under the, it, it says Daniel blank 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 hottie and it sends and it's a picture of this guy in the bathroom no shirt on and he was in the bathroom in the bathroom did he have pants on yes he did have pants on no shirt on though but he did have pants on. So what, is it one of those pictures that people take where they take their, like, cell phone into the bathroom? <laughs> That's exactly what it take was. Take their shirt the off? The typical picture, yes. You know, like in MySpace, the yes. movie, where the guy, his mom comes in and he's in there taking a picture of himself. <laughs> it, was it was a shot for the mirror to where you could actually see the cell phone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's probably one in a series, by the way. Right. <laughs> I'm sure that was just the first of many. Right. Okay. And, uh, so, so did you keep looking? Did you look at everything, or did you stop at some point? No. You know what? I, I figured I, I, I would not forgive myself if I stopped right here. I so needed to know the whole thing, going. so I kept going. What else did you find out? I found out messages from from him, the actual person, saying, you know, writing her, you know, you're sexy, back and forth. Um, I think she might have deleted a couple of them because the, the, the sentence started to not make a little bit of sense. Did you go so to I the think, trash folder? <laughs> I did go to the trash folder. She was smart enough to delete it from there. But, you know, I think she got lazy and just kept yeah. the conversation going. And uh, you could tell where this was going. Uh, she, You could tell that where the conversation was going. Did you uh, write to any of these people and pretend to be her? That's my favorite thing to do when I break into some email. <laughs> no, because at this just point... See how much I'll, more you could find out. I was so mad, you know, and I didn't want to send any threatening messages because, you know, I, I don't no, want to get in no, trouble. No, you know? don't send no, no, no. You write to him and say things like, God, it's been so long since we've seen each other. When can I see you again? And then you, you see what kind of response you get. Well, that was actually all in the email, so I already knew oh, the answer. Oh, you already knew? All, yeah, that, when's, that the was la wait, when's the last time he saw her? The last time he saw her was last Wednesday at a club. And where were you last Wednesday? In the studio with you. So while you were here in the studio, right. she was at a club with this guy. Right. I was on my way home. His from shirt the was on, I assume. I, I'm hoping so. I was on my way home from the studio, and I called her, and I asked her what she was going to do. She said she was going to go to the club with some friends. And 
This is where I'm pretty good at, Tom. I'm pretty good at making sure that she doesn't go to the clubs, but she insisted, you know, I just want to go to my go to the club and dance with my friends. By the way, how old is she? She is 19 years old. What kind of clubs are these? These are 18 and over clubs. 18 and over clubs. <laughs> yes, 18 and over clubs. All right. And so, uh, yeah. I just want to go out with my friends and dance. Right. And so I, I said it Until was fine. Until 2 in the morning. Right. And so I said it was fine. Um, I didn't even actually get a call from her that night telling me that she came home or not. So that was kind of a bad, you know, bad idea now that I thought about it. But, uh, but tolerating her going out ever. At it's, night to clubs. Right. What, what do we tell you about that? Never do it. Never, ever tolerate that. Tolerate. You can't change them. You can't say, don't go out to clubs. I know you probably tried that. Right. No, that's when you have to get up and say, you know what? If you want to go out to clubs, you're not ready for a serious relationship, but I'm going to move on. Right. And that's it. Yes. No debate. No. But you let her do it. Yes. You continue to tolerate that. Yes. Okay. <laughs> we never go out. It's just my girlfriends. My girlfriends and I, we get out on the floor. We just dance together. The girls dance with each other. Have you ever gotten that one? We just dance with each other. Now, I've been to nightclubs thousands of times. I have The only time I've ever seen two women dancing together is a, is a lesbian nightclub. <laughs> I have never seen two women dancing together where straight people congregate. It just doesn't happen. Yeah, it doesn't happen. But they always say that. You know, it's just, we like to dance, you know, so the girls get out there and all six of us, we just get out there and dance with each other. Yeah, right. Yeah. Why don't you dance in the living room if you like dancing so much? You know what? Uh, you just throw the satellite radio on, a little dance music. <laughs> But the dance music channel on, well, you girls can just boogie on down to the living room. Why don't clear. you just dance it? No. Exactly. Clear it's out not, the sofas. It's Same not, thing. Not the dancing. <laughs> it's the groping, the grabbing, the shoving someone's tongue down your throat in the parking lot. That's that's what they like when they yes. go out to the clubs. Okay. So uh, last Wednesday, she was out at a club. But did they, is, all that, is that all she did? Went to the club? Yes, that's all she went. Do she we have any club. evidence that they went further than going to a club? No. No. I know they met up at the club. I'm not sure if they went further than that. I Damn. wasn't able to confirm that. All right. So, uh, so you found that out. Anything else? Yes. Uh, no, I found out. You know, I found out when they were talking. Me, me, and the missus. We had a. Uh, we went through a, a little bit of an argument. Uh, New Year's, and uh, we had a little break from New Year's, and uh, a break. Yes, we went through a little break for about forty-eight hours. <laughs> what? I love when women ask me for a break. A free pass. <laughs> right. I, I just need some time alone. Fantastic. <laughs> Right. While well, you sat there hanging by your thumbs yes. waiting for her to decide what she was going to do next. Yes. And so... Uh, well, she I, was out of clubs I with a guy out, with a shirt off. I, I found out that uh, that they were actually um, talking before that. So, you know, that so we went to New Year's and then we got into an argument. And then I wondered why she... Because usually we would get into fights. She calls me all the time, you know, yelling at me and stuff. And this time she wasn't paying that much attention. So I was a little suspicious. I was like, why is she not calling me? Why is she not arguing with me? Why is she not well, doing was it? Was it in person she was doing this? She, she she usually calls me in person, or she usually calls me or no, comes I love, to my house. No, you know the calls I'm talking about. Are you listening to me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm listening. Of course. Exactly. I heard everything you just said. <laughs> and uh, I was wondering, and so my, you know, the reason why she wasn't calling me or, you know, texting me as much as because she was too busy with that other guy. That it, was her it, new uh, attention. Yes, isn't that nice? So, yes. but she did tell you that okay, I had my couple of days. And now I probably went to, 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 to Tijuana for the weekend or something with him. Uh, so, so she was back in the relationship after a break of a couple of days, or did the break never end? No, well, we we decided we were going to work things out. We she said that I was a little different. I've been different lately, and that I you've, you've I, been different lately. Yes, and so I need to work things out. So I told her that's fair. You know, I'm going to work. We're going to try to work things out. I think this was an excuse, so she could technically say she wasn't. She because we were on a break. Right. Right. I think that's what it... Uh, it's funny how all the puzzles seem to connect, right? When you you, know, <laughs> you find everything out, you kind of everything's like, wow, that makes sense now. <laughs> so now it yeah. explains where she's been, exactly. why she doesn't answer the phone, exactly. why she doesn't send you text messages. Exactly. She tells you she's out of the signal area. All of a sudden, it's amazing <laughs> how bad the signal is on her cell phone. Unbelievable how many times that, that happened, right? Right, right. Now, you didn't tell me that. I just I know how this game is played. <laughs> Did you send me a message? You know what happens? Sometimes the thing breaks down and I get all your messages at the same time. The next day. Yeah. I know. I know. Dad, now, do you have any evidence that anything ever happened or that's it? It just it was going to clubs. It, it, I, I don't have any evidence. And she still claims till now that nothing happened. But I'm pretty sure if I didn't find this message 
today, something would have happened tomorrow, I'm pretty sure. All right, we're going to take a break. We come back. I, I want to recount the phone call that you had with her. Okay. And I want you to imitate her. Okay. So think about this. I want okay. you to be her. I will try. When we come back. All right. Uh, Javier is our intern, and you've got some questions for Javier. You'd like to ask him uh, about his experience, or you'd like to relate your experience to his experience, or maybe you'd like to beat the living crap out of him like like I'm doing right now. You can call us right now. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. A Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. A shorter commercial break, more phone calls, we move the show faster. Your head will spin. 1 800 5 800 Tom is our telephone number. We are here with our intern, Javier, and he uh, just found out his girlfriend, uh, well, been cheating on him. Now, all right, so you, you went through uh, the email and the Facebook uh, inbox and what have you. And then uh, uh, you called her, and uh, how did that go? So I called her, and, uh, well, I, it first started with a text. And I was so heated at this point, I told her, you know, just don't talk to me ever again. Uh, don't text me. And uh, Wait, 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 but wait, wait, we haven't got, we, the, the listeners haven't heard oh, the part that you and I talked about off the air. I'm sorry. You ring, 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 and right, right, right. You know, she picks up. Well, where was she when, when you called her? I'm getting a little ahead of myself. I texted her first, and I t- sent her a text saying, don't call me again. Don't text me. Don't do anything. Don't get near me anymore. Out of the blue. Just out of the blue. You know, I haven't talked to her all day today. She has probably no idea what she's talking about. So she sends me uh, a text message back asking, well, what, what are you talking about? Exactly. What, what is the matter with you? What, what is going on? You know, just ever so concerned. Um, and so, you know, I just send her a nice little text message back saying, uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. And I put the guy's name in blanks and, or in, in little quotation marks. And, you know, that's it. And, you know, I told, you know, just imply that I know about the guy. And so it takes her about another 15 minutes to respond back now. Oh, so it was all text messages. <laughs> it huh? was text messages, and then it led to a phone call from her. So she, you know, she she doesn't reply back, and then I get a phone call about 15 minutes later. And uh, she's a little, she's a little, you could tell she's a little heated, a little shocked. She goes, Javi, what are you, what are you talking about? What are you, what are you talking about? You know, and I told her everything I did. I was like, you know, I went through your Facebook, I went through your email, and I have everything in writing. There's no way. You, you, how are you going to talk your way out of this one? I have it in front of me. You know, I have everything that you guys were talking about. I have the picture. I have everything. I don't know what you're talking about. And then, I, you know, I say, okay, well, you know, you've been talking to this guy, and I mention his name. And uh, he goes, uh, he goes, she goes, oh, yeah, yeah, I, I have. I have been talking to him. And I go. Oh, okay, you know, and you know, I'm 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 not this calm. I'm pretty heated at this point. My, you know, I'm starting to talk a little faster. You can tell the anger in my voice. And then uh, she goes, "Well, we're on a break." This is what she brings. <laughs> 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 now we've been on a break for like four days, three days, you know, and and I noticed that. The message that was first sent was sent while we were still together, which is why she said she needed a break. Exactly. So I put two and two together, and uh, it kind of makes sense. And then she pretty much just tries to explain the story how I've been different lately, and how I'm not the same, and uh, how you know ever since that I've been you know here working for the studio, I've been different ever since I've been working. Now, now you told us she's not a fan of mine. No, she's not a fan. She. Uh, I, I want to say she hates you, actually, almost a little bit. Well, yeah, well, probably so. Right. You know why? Because I've got her number. <laughs> exactly. You got, I was describing her. Exactly. You were. You got it right on the dot. And uh, so she, you know, and then she's been saying, you know, I've been treating her differently. I haven't been the same that when I first used to be. I'm not as romantic anymore. I don't do stuff like that show that I care anymore. Um, and so she pretty much just tries to justify herself. And I say, how does that have anything to do with, you know, this? How does this justify it? And she says, no, it doesn't, but, you know, you're the reason why everything went this way. Oh. She says, I'm the, I'm the reason why. Oh. Yes. Oh. yes. So um, uh, that's how it ended? And that's how it ended. And I pretty much just told her, you know, because our families are uh, unfortunately very close with each other. Uh, my mom is very close to her, and she's very close to my sister, and it's just intertwined. Uh, so I told, just told her, you know, just... Just I don't want to see you at my house anymore. I don't want to see you around my sister anymore. I just kind of want all strings cut off, and that's it. And then uh, she pretty much told me, um, you know, when I grow up and become more mature, to call her. <laughs> and that's pretty much where we left off. 
<laughs> well, you can show how mature you are. See, if it were me, I would Xerox every page of that uh, stuff from Facebook, and I would send it directly to uh, Mrs. Girlfriend, you know, the mom of Miss Girlfriend, Mrs. Girlfriend. Right. I would send it to her and let her see what her daughter's up to. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm considering. I'm highly considering it. But uh, if my mom ever asks, you know, why why did you stop seeing her? I'm just gonna you know throw down the papers on the table and be like, well, read away. Mm -hmm. It explains everything right there. That's and exactly a right. Involved as well. That's exactly right. All right. Now before we go to calls here, and we're gonna do that coming up at one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom for our intern Javier. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. We're not gonna do that. We are. We're not. Okay. What are we gonna do? What do you mean? I said we're gonna take calls. You were, you're shaking your head no. Oh, I thought you were talking about the thing you asked me about before. No. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, not, not that thing. We're not, it's not that thing we were talking about, no. No, we're going <laughs> to... We're going to go to the phone calls coming up at 1-800-5800-TOM for our intern, Javier, and you've just heard his story. Uh, okay, and uh, so we'll see what the audience has to say Let's about that. We'll say. get some of the reaction to that. Uh, meanwhile, you're going to be busy addressing envelopes and sending that stuff out. I will be. <laughs> Getting that out. Uh, by the way, uh, if I were you, I'd also be sending it to uh, how many friends does she have on the list there? About uh, 200, and that's just Facebook. We haven't included MySpace yet. Oh, is, have you checked out her MySpace? I have page? checked out her MySpace. Her MySpace, her MySpace was clean, but it was. Yes, it was. Unfortunately, you might want to send it to all her friends. Just <laughs> broadcast a little bulletin to everybody. <laughs> send that right out. <laughs> See what they have to say about that. All right, we'll take a break. And we, of course, the 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 two hundred male friends on Facebook are going to be like, "Great, I'm next." <laughs> She's a whore. All right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with your telephone calls here at 1 800 5800 Tom. Don't go anywhere. Tom, 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 like it. 1 800 5800 Tom. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likes Show. <laughs> the Tom Likes Show. Oh, yes, you now hear us six days a week with the Tom Likas Show. Saturdays, 2 until 6 p.m. Pacific Time. Monday through Friday, 3 until 8 p.m. Pacific Time. On 97.1 FM Talk and on BlowMeUpTom.com. And round out your week with the Tasting Room with Tom Likas. Sundays from 5 until 7 p.m. Pacific Time. There you go. 1-800-5800-TOM. All right, we'll... Uh, We'll go to the phones now with our intern, Javier, and uh, your telephone calls start with Travis on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? How's it going, Dad? Doing great, son. How about you? I'm doing great. I'd like to uh, tell my little story about my ex-girlfriend. Me and uh, Javier have a little something in common. Oh? Well, see, I was going out with her for a while, and then uh, she wanted to move in, so I moved, you know, she moved in, but she was into that club scene. And uh, one night, one of my buddies gave me a little disturbing fact that after she had hooked my girlfriend, you know, she had hooked up with some guy at the club. So, uh, you know, whatever. Well, it turns out, two months later, she had been cheating on me while she was living with me. <laughs> this is what we tell everybody. And, Dad, I'm sorry I never took your advice on the Lycus 101. I should have, but I didn't. I was an ignorant young fool. And uh, I'd like to say... Can I say more on the the, the line? <laughs> you can say what you like. Go ahead. The f bomb, so I can't use that. But she's a whore, pretty much that way. And now it's she said it's because she was scared because she never let anybody into her heart. And all of a sudden now it's because I'm not man enough for her. But I was the one making all the bread, paying the rent, paying the bills, and getting everything done. Look at that. Does that? Uh... Yes, that sounds awfully familiar. Uh, I didn't live with her. Thank goodness, nor yeah. paid any of her bills, but uh, I did buy her a lot of expensive stuff, which I kind of regret now. What yeah. do we tell you about buying expensive stuff? I know, I know. Well, Javier, the funny thing is she was buying me stuff the whole time, making me feel good, and mm -hmm. then it came out one day that, you know, she was cheating on me, and I did like any good man would do. I told her, get out of the car, and she said no, so I took her purse, threw it out, and I made her walk. Wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. But listen to the Tom Likas show, gave me that leather heart to get through it, so yeah. I hear you. Yeah, you learn the hard way. I like, like Javier is learning the hard way. <laughs> Fortunately. 
I, you know, I try to make it easy for you guys. I try to tell you. I give, give you all the information you need. And I appreciate that. Dad, can I can I have you take me out uh, with the bong hit to a Kobe style? Yes. <laughs> This is about us. She's so special to me. You hear beats in my heart. You hear the air I breathe. She's so special to me. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Veronica, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hi. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Um, hi, Javi. Hi, well, how are you? Um, I just want to start off by saying... Um, um, well, I feel sorry for men in your situation because hey, I, I look at it like that that's freaking life. That's life, and some men deserve it. Or as a matter of fact, a lot of men deserve it. I mean, that's you You men are so good at, at calling us out and, you know, calling us whores when men are whores as well. And so we like a good bang, and, and sometimes she got bored of you in your situation. And she found herself a good uh, boy toy, per se. And um, that's all I wanted to really say. Uh, you know, I just think that um, maybe uh, it, it was your turn. It was your turn. It happens all the time. And um, What do you mean it I was mean, his turn? The only reason this happened to him is because he ignored my advice. He went yeah, his own way. He did his that own too. thing, and bought her expensive things. And uh, uh, you know, she had the uh, MySpace and the Facebook pages, yeah, and yeah. uh, two hundred friends, and a uh, hundred of them are guys. <laughs> and uh, you know, he ignored all the warning signs, which I've told him about. That's why it happened. If he had followed my advice, the, there's no such thing as being your turn. If you follow my advice, these things don't happen to you. Of course they do. They happen all the time. No, I they mean, don't happen if you follow my advice. Well, you know what? I, I, I've been listening to your show on and off, and, and, you know, I look at it like, okay, we get bored, too. Just like you men get bored with us women. We but the point too, is, if we don't commit to you, then we don't care if you're doing somebody else. But hats off, hats off to you because I, I, I think the same way. I mean, I've been, I've been married for quite some time, and, and, uh, am I faithful? Off, maybe sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. Will he find out? Who knows? Um, and if he does, then hey, two tears in a bucket. That's just the way life goes. I mean, and um, you're showing a lot of sympathy here. Yeah, you know, Tom. These are the same girls that ask where are all the good guys at. You know, these are the same kind of girls. Right. That, do oh, that, that that's just mumble jumble. <laughs> that's just what I want to say. So you that you, you had it coming to you, Javi. That's what she said. <laughs> Yeah, unfortunately I did. All right. Thanks for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's continue here with Sean on the Tom Likas Show for our intern, Javier. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay. How you doing, Good. How you doing? I'm doing all right. Hey, I'm probably doing a little better than you, but, uh, you know, I, I just want to say, you know, anybody that's on MySpace or Facebook, you know, we're practically looking. It's like a, a free eHarmony. You, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> except you don't have to pass the 29 levels of compatibility. Exactly. There's there's no free demo or anything like that. It's just stuff to say. You don't have to look at Dr. Neil Clark Warren. <laughs> well, you know, I had a girlfriend that had that too. I didn't even know what MySpace was at that time, and uh, you know, I figured out pretty damn quick uh, that. You know, it, it's it's just one of those hit and quit type deals. You know what I mean? By the way, I don't mind chicks who are whores. Okay, just as yeah, long as either. just as long as they're just banging me, and then they go back to you know, banging the other friends on the list on MySpace. I don't care. Yeah, that's exactly what I did. I I took what she showed me on this MySpace thing, and I started looking for other girls. And it, it was it was actually a pretty good damn experience, uh, knowing you know, hey, you know, let's let's uh, text this uh, message this lady and. uh We'll see what we can get out of her. If that doesn't happen, move on to the next city. You know what I'm talking about? Like, <laughs> That's exactly right. You know, Tom, I, I knew that once she got a Facebook and a MySpace, that kind of threw up a red flag. I thought about it. But then she's just like, no, no problem. You can check up all, you know, you can have all my passwords. You can check it whenever you want. And, of course, me being lazy, you know, and not having the time to check it all the time. This is what happens. Not only that, she knew that at some point, like everybody, you would check, you would find nothing, and eventually you would just stop checking because, you know, I, 
I, there's some uh, Gary knows this story because he was there. Okay, I have uh, one of my many exes. Okay, and she wanted to know why I was going out late all the time. And one time we were on the road, and she came with me on the road and wanted to stay out late to see what we do late at night. So I told Gary and Dee, and I said, just make it as boring as possible. Okay, we'll we'll just play video games and we'll just sit at the bar and drink and, and just be like the three or four of us that were there and that'll be it. There'll be no way. So we were there at like an abandoned bar after closing time. No chicks, nobody there. Uh, we're playing uh, one of these games where, you know, with a steering wheel, one of these video games. It was like a driving game or something. We're playing some video game there. <laughs> and and my ex is just standing there, like, like drumming her fingers on the bar, you know. And she's bored with all this. And it's like, well, we're not going to be going for a while. You might as well just hang out and relax. Have another drink. Have another glass of champagne. Relax. <laughs> That's what we do. We sit here and we play video games when we're on the road. That's what we do. So finally, about uh, 4.30, 4.45 a.m., she finally couldn't take it anymore, and she left. And then after she left, I, I literally made one phone call, and somebody drove right down uh, from her suburban home to pick me up and take me back to her place right about sunrise <laughs> while my ex went back to the hotel room. Now, you see, this is what she did with you with MySpace and Facebook. She thought you'd be so bored by the original activity on there. It would be, you know, her girlfriends and a couple of other people you don't care about. She's chatting with them. They're chatting about nothing. And then after a while, you would just stop looking, which you did. Exactly. It worked perfectly. And after she knew she'd bored you into a coma, then she got down to business. <laughs> Man, did she get down to visit real quick. Boy, I can tell you that. Right, we'll take a break. We'll come back with Javier, our intern. He just found out his girlfriend is cheating on him. She's a Facebook whore. Or as we call it around here, sit on my Facebook. Tom, 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 like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. We're here with our intern, Javier, and uh, he just found out his girlfriend is cheating on him with some guy she met on Facebook, Josh, on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Yeah. Hey, I'm on. What's up? Not much. I'm Javi's best friend. I just want to say I'm jumping up and down right now because this better be the end of it. <laughs> you, are you saying maybe he's just telling us one thing, but he's going to do another? Uh, this this better be the last draw. They've gone off and on these past two years, and uh, you know he better leave it at that. Wait a minute, are you telling me there have been other incidents like this? No, not like this, not at all. But just you know, little fights they've broken up and whatnot. But you know, and then they get back together a couple days later. Oh boy, it's me trying to redeem my manhood, Tom. Is what it was, you know. <laughs> She's well, been, so, she thought she had me, and then I had to cut it off a little, for a little bit, and then. But then you come back, and you, you're, you're essentially giving her permission. You're saying, "Okay, I just signed off on that stuff you did to me." Yeah, yeah. Which I mean, I, in a way, I don't blame him because I mean, if you had a steady uh, way right there, then you know, you got to keep it around. But <laughs> you know, sometimes I, the price I, of admission I think, I think is too high. To, I think he needs to switch to the dark side and start learning from my ways. <laughs> you know I, mean? I, I never had a girlfriend throughout high school and stuff. I just kind of, I'm not the commitment type. I just kind of, you know, do uh, have my fun and then see you later. You have your fun and then you run. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> pump them and dump them. Hey, that's a perfect headline. There you go. Absolutely. So. Well, you got you got to bring him along. Now that you got him out of this situation, do not let him slide back. No, definitely not. You got to keep him in check. I've time. been giving him all the advice, all the information. He's just not taking it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yep. going to take it to heart now, Tom. I will never let up ever that, again. Okay. This will never happen again. Because if it does happen again, if it does happen again, we're going to be. If it does happen again, we're going to be on the air doing this again. Yes, that's, see, that's. Let me tell you something. That's the worst thing that can happen to you. You t you make this promise, <laughs> which we've just recorded, yeah. and then you backslide, and then I come on the air and call you on it. Right. Yeah. You don't oh, want yeah. that if, happening. If he backslides, I'm definitely going to be calling you personally, Tom. <laughs> that's you know. perfect. Yeah, let me know if that happens. 
that's, that, that's we've got him. Thing. We've got him on tape now. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. By so, the way, this this chick, without naming her or anything like that, was she worth all this trouble? Josh? Oh, me yeah. personally? Yeah. Um, you know, I've, I like I said, I've, I've been friends with Javi since I was about sixth grade, and we've known her. We've been friends close too. But uh, I didn't know she was about this. I didn't, I didn't. This is the first time I was hearing it. So yeah, I've been a lot. I've been a lot of people it, hearing about it for the first time. If it ends like this, and I say no, it's not worth the trouble. No, there we go. Because that's bull. That's bull. <laughs> So. Well, Josh, thank you for the uh, insight. We really appreciate it. All right. Thanks, thanks a lot, Tom. Thanks, right. buddy. There he goes. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's George on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, good good evening, Tom and Javier. How are you guys doing today? Great. Good. Well, listen, Javier, I just wanted to get her number. Do you have it? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody has it, dude. Come on. <laughs> 714 or what's up? What's up? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, man. Listen, man, I just... Uh, I just gotta let you know, though, man. Listen, um, it's 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 crazy, but you know, it, it is what it is, you know. And and like Tom says, man, uh, you gotta keep your head up and 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 you know, just you're too young to have a girlfriend right now. Right, like so, I was um, like I was telling Tom off the air. I can only imagine if I was a little older, you know, and uh, she was actually my wife, and we shared a house together, and we had bills together. How much harder this is gonna be, you know? How how really uh, getting married really can ruin your life. But let literally. me let me remind you. If if you have a wife and she has a MySpace page, come on. Do yeah. you need do you need me reminding you how bad that is? Right, right. Delete that well, tonight. You, you know, and you know what? You know what, Javier? Um, I, I'm 26 now. Um, I was 18 when I had my first girlfriend, and um, so I waited out for a little bit, you know, here and there. But when I had my girlfriend, um, and this is my ex 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 girlfriend, by the way. Um, you know, I met her at church, and I'll tell you right now. If anything, they're probably one of the worst ones to date because, you know, they make it seem like they're really, um, you know, on the ball and, you know, they're not capable of doing anything. By the way, you know, why would you want to meet a girl at church? You want a girl who's going to do what you wanted to do. Well, um, at the time, Tom, I was going to church. I was trying to get involved. Well, you, you know? marry a girl from church, but you don't date a girl <laughs> from church. Right. No, and that's that's exactly right. And I agree with you 100%. <laughs> and so what happened was that, um, to you know, make the long story you short. You get with every hoe in town, and then you settle down with a nice girl from church. You, you know? And then what happened was that, um, you know, uh, one, uh, one uh, I guess this guy, he was like a... Uh, he, he was like a, a he would teach the study Bible, but he came from Pennsylvania, so he came down here to California and um, to our church. And next thing you know, I I found out that there were kind of there was something going on with those two people there. So um, I got really upset, and I'm as it is, I'm the jealous type. So I got really aggressive at that time, and whatever happened happened. But you know, um, when you just expect it, it things happen. But question for you, um, Javier. What, what, uh, is this was was that her? Um, are you her first orphan? No, I'm actually. Um, which is karma, by the way. Uh, I forgot to mention this part, Tom. Uh, I actually met her because I took her to my high school prom, and at this time she was dating another guy, and <laughs> that, I got together. That should have told you something. <laughs> I sh- and I got together with her the night of prom, and so she okay, left that guy that she was with for two years. Another thing we talk about on this show all right, the time. Right, right. And <laughs> she she jumped on my bandwagon, and then the bus kind of took off from there. And uh, sh- Now I someone else is taking her to the prom. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Someone else is taking her to the prom. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the call, George. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here's Will on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's happening, guys? Not much. All right, Javier, before your girl catches wind of this, why you still got those passwords? Change that Facebook password and the email password, and you have control and uh, destroy her. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> those are no longer uh, there. every guy on there. Send them all the dirty information. But you see, you it. you acted out of anger. What did you do? Uh, uh, those uh, MySpaces and Facebooks no longer exist. Actually, I took it upon myself to make sure she doesn't get into any more trouble with her future uh, boyfriend. So I just went ahead I and deleted it for her. <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I was telling him off the air. I said, what you do is you write to every one of the hundred or so uh, male friends she has, hey, uh, what's up, haven't seen you in a long time, and see how many of them respond. Destroy her. You should not have deleted them. You should have played with them and had some fun. <laughs> she just destroyed you. <laughs> You're but absolutely I'll right. You, Tom. I'll blow you up, baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jesse on the Tom like his show. Hello. Hey, hey Tom, how's it going? Doing okay. Uh, yeah, I'd like to say something about Javi. Uh, do you know him? 
Yeah, I'm. All right, well, I'm don't mention the don't, best don't mention the show. don't mention the name of the girlfriend. That's all we have. All right, no problem. Okay. Hi, Jess. All right. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Well, I think someone's coaching him. How they actually got together? She was with another guy, and then no break in between. Just jump, jump right to him. That he just told us that right he took her head. to he took her to the prom and she uh, where he went to the prom and she was going with another guy and then she jumped in with him. Exactly. They were, they, she was talking to another guy and then jumped straight to him. Now, did you have any idea that she was getting there on Facebook and uh, chatting up guys on there? Nope, that's news to me. I just I just learned that today. <laughs> so did he? <laughs> yeah, ditto. <laughs> oh yeah. So now, did uh, how did you feel, uh, Jesse, about the fact that uh, your buddy here was uh, had a girlfriend? Let's start with that. Well, I've been telling him the whole time, you know, you're interning for Tom Likas and you got a girlfriend. <laughs> I mean, you know, he has. He it, has. It explains himself, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but of course, doesn't it make sense that eventually he would uh, he would get his just desserts and then he would come in here and he would have to take uh, the uh, the, uh, uh, the the beating from me on the air here? Yep, it's finally worth it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. Appreciate the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom Tannen on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, father. Hello, son. How are you? I'm doing swell. I had some advice for Javier. All right. Now, now is the time to capitalize on the situation and go get all those girls' friends that he was looking at while he was with her. This is the bonus part about it all, Tom. Her friends are smoking. Her friends. Really? Her friends are top notch. What are you waiting for? I don't know. I'm going to get to it right now, right what? after this. You've got her email address and her password. <laughs> Got a contact list right there. They're, they're right there. <laughs> it's time to jump on board. Definitely. I bet there's a few of them who've been waiting for this to happen. Yes. <laughs> Hopefully. Uh, we'll find out very I, shortly. I'll bet they all knew what was going on. <laughs> there you go. Good suggestion, Tannen. Hey, thanks. Hey, Tom, can you take me out Kobe tribal style? Well, let's see what we have time for here. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. All right, that's all we have time for. Javier, thank you for coming in here. Thanks, Tom. We'll want to know what the next chapter is in your story. I'll definitely keep you updated. Okay, very good. Our email address, Tom at blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likas Show.